What is up people? So today we are on episode 3 of Full Throttle on the GTA series that we are currently doing. Um, so today the new Krieger, Krieger uh, came out and it is proving potentials of being the new fastest supercar. Uh, there are rumours that it is still not faster than the Pariah, which we'll be, be testing a little later on. Uh, but we're doing a little challenge here called the GPS Challenge. Now, this is basically, is the GPS really showing you the quickest way to the destination that you have set? Um, at the moment, you are watching me in the Kragger. Great handling, by the way, a fantastic grip. Uh, we are following the GPS from the airport to the, uh, the facility, um, following it through the city streets. Um, obviously, this is going to be with traffic on, because if you are in a public lobby, you are going to have traffic. There's not going to be any other players because I would most doubtedly probably get blown up by some oppressor mark 2 tryhard so we're not going to do that we're going to do it in a private lobby uh, or an invite only anyway but it's not a million miles away but it's a good distance and I can get to it through the highway as well but as you're seeing here um, I said very good grip not much sliding about apart from the bumps. One second. Oh god. Right, hopefully I can line these two up pretty well. Um, if not, then I apologise, but you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, as you can see, coming through this, the um, countryside now, getting close to the destination, a lot of hard break turns. But the traction that the car gives is uh, it's pretty much no match. The timer is going to end once we hit the billboard around this corner. Um, but at the moment of recording, I don't know what the time is. So it may be faster, it may be fast, it may be slow. I'm not 100% sure. Um, because when recording it splits up into little sections it doesn't record one whole thing so this time we've got the same destination but not following the GPS we will be following it slightly just so we can get to the um, just so we can get to the motorway or the highway even um, but up to that point once we get onto the highway we are not going to have we're not going to have any GPS because I didn't have time to set a new GPS so partly another reason why I chose the facility is because it's easy to find from the highway uh, but at the moment we are going down the same route not much different going on maybe the additional little change of route but overall nothing drastic don't think we hit any cars on the normal version of this route but here we go going left past the police station now we are going down the highway route coming right past the Del Perro Pier struggling to find the uh, road to get onto the highway but finally finding it um, you're about to witness some amazing driving skills by me and at the time of driving even I was surprised I made it through here alive check that out not a scratch but we are now on the highway full open road um, it being not the GPS route um, it should take longer to get there but honestly I'm not too sure because with the open road you've got plenty of space to move around you don't have to slow down to get around corners you've got plenty of space to get out of way of cars and you can keep your foot down so it's kind of an even thing it might be close it might not be for me I'm just going to wait until I edit it and put it together 
Um, but at the moment, I'm not really sure. It seems faster. It felt like it was faster. But I think that's only because I was hopefully I was favouring the highway road more to the inner city just because you can keep your foot down and you can, and you can do some serious speed level and coming up to the billboard like I said at the time of editing I don't know what the time is so we're just gonna have to wait and see um, but before we get on to the next part um, we're gonna do a little we're gonna do what we did before we're gonna have um, four points, um, Devastate 8, Tally GTO, Pariah, and the Krieg, Krager, whatever it's called, the stocks version, all four racing one another, and the upgraded versions, all four racing one another. So let's have a look at that and check that out. So, um, obviously, not sure what the times are, editing wise, I don't know, because while I'm doing this, I'm watching it on my TV, on the Rockstar Editor, but what we have at the moment now is some footage of a race track, going around the track, I actually managed to beat 
my personal record, which I think was in the Devastate 8. So I managed to beat it, so that's got to tell you something. But we can talk a little bit about the car while it's doing this, because I think I said three laps. So basically, the Krieger is four wheel drive, which obviously gives you the handling, the traction, and the grip. Um, customization wise, honestly, not a lot. You have no, you can't change the bumpers. You can't add to the bumpers. You can't change the grill. Uh, you can't get rid of the hood scoop. You can't change the mirrors. Um, the paint job, the primary color consists of the whole car. The secondary color is half of the trim on the inside. Um, you got lovely liveries. I'm sporting the obvious German one, being because the Benefactor is GTA's version of Mercedes, and Mercedes is a German. Um, spoilers, yes, you can have a spoiler. It comes stock with the little fins on the side, uh, but you can remove them. The to get the good um, traction, you will need one of the spoilers. Now, because the fins, give me a sec, right. and hopefully we are back. Um, oh, where was I? Yes, the spoilers, right. Now, because the fins are stock, they don't count as giving you extra traction. Um, same with removing the spoilers like I've done, you do have to have one of the spoilers provided. Now, me being me, I'm not a great fan of the, how the spoilers look, because they just look like they're bolted on. I prefer the more sleek, purposely joined ones. Honestly, looking at this car when I was customising it, I do think it would look amazing with a... Um, like an electric spoiler that comes up when you hit a certain speed, a bit like the T20, because I think the T20 is the only one that has a raisin spoiler, no, the Nero has a raisin spoiler as well, um, but I think this car would be great with a, re with a raisin spoiler. Um, struggling to find things to talk about, I don't know why wheelies. I think if you hit it at a certain point, it wheelies. Um, but that's only when you're doing stunt races, so don't worry. Um, obviously, driving it in the street, it's very well controlled, so if you're using it for street races, you're going to be good and covered. Um, for stunt races like these, again, the grip is very well done. And uh, you're not going to be spinning off many times. I did use, I have used it in two races. Um, both times I have come second. Now, that is only because of the fact that I was racing other people. The first time I was doing Rattan stunt race. And the last little jump you have, I actually ended up landing slightly on top of first place, which spanned me out, and I didn't have enough time to catch up to get in front, because I was literally just like one turn, and then you're there. So I didn't have time to catch up to him. Um, but... I'm... Hit, the whoever it was that I was racing against, he was a pretty fair racer. He didn't spin me out when we were next to each other, so I'll give him that. Um, then next, the second race I did was actually against several other players, but also one other person in the same car. Both of us rocking first and second place, uh, but he was a bit more... He was a bit more like he was a bit more aggressive than the last guy. 
so he was going all out on the little the speed boosts with the like running over the curbs slightly and the bumps he was really he was getting everyone in that he could um, which obviously didn't go so great for him because he, I still managed to catch up and I wasn't doing it as much um, but the speed and acceleration does go quite a bit um, but I came second again because he crashed and then I crashed into him because he was taking up the whole bloody lane so um, but coming to the end of this so hopefully you guys enjoyed Please like, comment, and subscribe, and honestly, if you're a racer, get this car, okay?